What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Game Winner here, and today I have ban list predictions for the next ban list for Yu-Gi-Oh. The first card I'd like to point out that I believe will be on the ban list is Draco Sack. Just everybody's been thinking about it. It's over a hundred dollars in price right now. I have a feeling that it's not going to get banned, but it's going to go down to two. I think two because some because limiting it seems a bit overkill. And keeping it at 3 just makes E Dragons just completely broken. Uh, at 2, I believe the price would probably drop down to around $70 or $80 for those who are still interested in buying them. Uh, to go with that, another card in E Dragons that would probably get hit is going to be uh, Big Eye, because that's also really broken in uh, E Dragons. And um, I believe that it's going to go down to 1 because. I honestly think it's harder, it's a harder to, not necessarily harder to get around, but it's a more broken card than uh, Draco Sack, and uh, as such, it'll, it should probably go down to one, because semi-limited in it would basically mean you'd have access to four XYZs according to my ban list prediction, which would be two Draco Sacks, two Big Eyes, which is too much, but if you had two Draco Sacks, one Big Eye, you exhaust those three options. You're done. Um... I'll probably make the price go from about 80 I think it's going for roughly $80 right now, down to probably like $40, which is a lot more reasonable. Um, that's it for uh, E Dragons for Spellbook Prophecies. I do not think that um, the, the only card that I, th that I think is going to get hit there is uh, Spellbook of Judgment, and I think that's probably going to go down to 1. Because it is extremely broken. I mean, you play that, you go off that turn. You go, it, you may have overexerted yourself, but at the end of the turn, you go plus seven, or some ungodly number. And then you can, you have plenty of cards so that if they do push back and somehow destroy your field, you can make another play the next turn. At one, you have one option, you lose that, you're done. You can no longer. You're not. You can still use all your combos, but you can't use spellbook to go super plus. So essentially, at one, the price would probably drop down to like thirty dollars. But uh, a deck that is tier like, onto another deck that's tier one, but dropping down fairly considerably is uh, Mermails. Uh, Megalo at two. That's the only thing, just because it doesn't. Um, at two, it doesn't really. At three, it's kind of a bit much, but at two, it's not really going to make a difference in many decks. Um, but I think that's all that's going to get hit for mermails, and I honestly think that um, it's probably. I, I can't really guess the price because it just came out with a reprint in uh, the newest uh, battle pack, and as such, since that recent just came out, I think yesterday, it's hard to guess what the price is going to stay at because of the new reprint. For all I know, it could go up in value, but I I doubt it. Uh, so I'm going to refrain from making a guess on that. Um, Evil Swarms is the other deck, and uh, I don't see them getting hit, except for maybe Opion, which might get hit. Although I highly doubt that. Like, if it did get hit, it'd only be semi limited because it's, it's powerful, but it's. I kind of want to say. Sort of an anti meta card because if you're running against E Dragons, it's good against them. If you're assuming they haven't got their uh, big eye or their breaker sack out, and it's good against um, spellbooks because they can't special summon from their hand, which really breaks the deck. And then Mermails, they have a lot of level 4 monsters that they can spam out quite quickly. How however, Abyss Megalo is their best option since that's above level 5. It is a pain to deal with Opion, but I don't think that's going to get hit. Uh, for tier top, for like the top of tier 2, the main things, um, I don't think anything's going to get hit from there. I mean, Fire Kings I don't think aren't going to get hit. Uh, fire Fists aren't going to get hit. Uh, Light Swarms, a lot of people think that like JD is going to get hit or something, but. It's not going to. The reason I think JD is going to get hit is because there's been 
because the judgment of lights coming out and they're, that's supposed to have a lot of support for light swarms possibly stuff but not necessarily light swarms but light monsters and if they had come out with a really powerful light xyz light swarms could easily come back to tier one however i highly doubt this because knowing konami within three months of that before they put out the ban list they put out a new de arch type of decks for the new tier one that would absolutely crush light swarms and that means when the next ban list after this one rolls around light swarms would be back to tier two assuming that they do move it to tier one uh that's about it for this video um i have a few unboxings coming pretty soon then again epic uh battle pack uh war of the giants with the uh booster box with 36 packs I'm probably going to get a 30 pack set of uh, gladiator beasts and um, I think if you have any other options, I don't really have any other things in the works for Yu-Gi-Oh! so um, if you have any ideas uh, comment down below and uh, please leave a like, favorite, and subscribe. Peace.